What I wanted to discuss today are the two formulas for adding resistors. Adding resistors in series and adding resistors in parallel. From our GCSEs, we're quite used to using those two formulas. However, what we're going to do today is actually prove them. So let's start off with the first one. If we have two resistors R1 and R2, which are connected in series to a cell of potential difference V, how can we prove that R total, the total for this circuit is equal to R1 plus R2? The trick with those derivations is to always think what is actually being added up. Now remember, this is a series circuit. And in a series circuit, the current remains constant, but the potential difference is shared or added between the two resistors. So we can say that this total V is going to be equal to V1 plus V2, where V1 and V2 are the potential differences across the respective resistors. So in this case we can also add Ohm's law that it will, that V is equal to IR. So we can just write down that IR total um, because this V over here that's the total voltage or the total potential difference across the whole circuit this is going to equal to current times R total now this is going to equal I R1 plus I R2 but remember what we said was that the current was uh, was constant so that means that we can cancel out the current from this equation what we're left with is that R total is equal to R1 plus R2. And we have proven the first equation. Moving on to the second equation, we have a parallel circuit. Remember, in a parallel circuit, the voltage or the potential difference remains constant across its different components across its parallel branches. However, it is the current which is being added. And remember, for those proofs, we must always think about what's being added. So if we have some current going from positive to negative, let's say that we have the total current, let's call that I total, I'm going to call that IT. T standing for total, that's going to split up at each junction, at this junction over here, into uh, two currents. Let's call them I1 and I2. Now, due to Kirchhoff's first law, the sum of the currents entering a junction equals the sum of the currents exiting a junction, that means that I total has got to equal I1 plus I2. Once again, we're going to apply Ohm's law. Remember, Ohm's law is just V is equal to IR in general. I'm just writing this as an aside. So I is going to equal V over R. Well, if this is I total, well, this is going to equal V over R total. Like so. This is going to be equal to I1, which um, will just be V over R1 plus V over R2. As we said, the potential difference is constant across those branches, so what we can do is cancel out those Vs across there. And what we're left with is the original expression with, that we're trying to prove. So it follows that 1 over R total is going to equal 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And there we have it. Now we have successfully proven those two really important equations which you guys have been using since GCSE level. And now we know how to prove them. Once again, if there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below.